सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड डू प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव लेटेस्ट जॉब्स नोटिफिकेशन गेट टॉक्स एंड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन गेट एंड आई ई एस हेलो गाइज सो वेलकम टू द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ दिस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन जनरल स्टडीज फॉर आई ई एस सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद आवर डिस्कशन विथ कंपोनेंट्स इन अ कंप्यूटर ओके सो हेयर इज द एब्सट्रैक्ट व्यू ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर अ कंप्यूटर कंटेंस थ्री पार्ट्स ओके द फर्स्ट वन इज द सॉफ्टवेयर द सेकेंड वन इज द हार्डवेयर एंड द थर्ड वन इज द फर्मवेयर ओके सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट सॉफ्टवेयर तो सॉफ्टवेयर आर फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट दैट इज एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर एंड द सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर सो वट आर द एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द यूजर सॉफ्टवेयर ओके सो दीज आर ऑल दो सॉफ्टवेयर दैट आर यूज बाय द यूजर्स directly so uh, all the applications that are installed on your mobile phones example uber app swiggy app and uh, all other apps comes under application softwares and the second form of softwares is system software okay the, so the system softwares are operating softwares okay operating softwares comes under the category of system softwares so these softwares provides us a interface an interface between user and computer hardware okay so operating softwares operating systems you know windows and java etc comes under the category of operating systems and the second components in a computer are hardware so keyboard mouse monitor etc comes under the category of hardware and the third component of a computer system is firmware firmware can be defined as a combination of both hardware and software okay so it is a combination of hardware and software guys moving further let us discuss what are the hardware components present in a computer system so there are two hardware components present in a computer system the first one is memory unit and the second one is central processing unit that is cpu so let us discuss about memory unit memory unit is placed in a system for storing data okay so we can write here that memory unit is used for storing data so the memory unit is further classified into two categories that is primary memory and the secondary memory so the primary memory is again of two types ram and rom where ram stands for random access memory and rom stands for read only memory okay so the ram 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 is a type of memory which doesn't contains data if the power is off whereas rom contains data even if the power is off okay so this is the basic difference between ram and rom and the second part of the memory unit is secondary unit so in secondary unit we can say all the secondary devices that is the hard disk the floppy disk the magnetic disk the pen drive okay so all those things comes under the secondary memory guys moving on to cpu which stands for central processing unit it is also known as the brain of a computer okay so cpu again has three components first is again memory unit second is alu which stands for arithmetic and logical unit and the third one is control unit okay so the memory unit is meant for storing data and information it is also meant for storing
इंटरमीडिएट रिजल्ट्स कमिंग टू ए एल यू विच स्टैंड फॉर अरिथमेटिक एंड लॉजिकल यूनिट इट इज बैंड फॉर डूइंग द अरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशन दैट इज प्लस माइनस मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइड एटसेट्रा एंड इट इज ऑल्सो मैंड फॉर डूइंग द लॉजिकल ऑपरेशन द लॉजिकल ऑपरेशन कैन बी कंपेरिजन मर्जिंग एटसेट्रा ओके गाइज द थर्ड कंपोनेंट ऑफ सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट इज सी यू सी यू स्टैंड फॉर कंट्रोल यूनिट सो द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ कंट्रोल यूनिट इज टू जनरेट कंट्रोल सिग्नल विच आर यूज बाय द सी पी यू टू एक्टिवेट द हार्डवेयर कंपोनेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी नीड टू प्रिंट सम डॉक्यूमेंट सो द कंट्रोल यूनिट विल गिव कंट्रोल सिग्नल टू द प्रिंटर सो दैट द डॉक्यूमेंट कैन बी प्रिंटेड Guys, now let's discuss the different types of computers. Computers here uh, shows the systems. Okay, so system can be computer, mobile, or anything which takes some input and processes it and gives some output. Guys, in ICT, the main component is system. Without system, there is no existence of ICT. So here we are discussing about the different types of systems. Guys, the first type of computer is personal computer. the basic features of a personal computer are that it is a single user computer moreover it is used at home and business and the second type of computer is work station it is also single user computer it is more powerful than a personal computer it has more powerful monitor and microprocessor and it is used in autocad and autocam applications then the third type of computers are mini computers these are multi user computer and are used in manufacturing factories guys the fourth type of computers are mainframe systems these are multi user computers these are more powerful than mini computers and these are used in banking systems guys the fifth type of computers are super computers these are the most powerful computers that have been invented till now these are multi user computer these are used for weather forecasting and military applications guys now let's discuss the different generations of computers talking about the first generation of computers it was in existence from the period of 1945 to 55 and it used vacuum tubes as memory elements whereas the second generation computers came in existence from 1955 to 65 and the memory elements used in the second generation computers were transistors and the third generation computers came in existence from 1965 to 1980 and the memory elements used in these computers were integrated chips whereas the fourth generation computer came into existence from 1980 to 2010 and the memory elements used in these computers were very large scale integrated chips guys the fifth generation computers came in existence since year 2010 and are still in existence guys the memory elements used in fifth generation computers are artificial intelligence okay so the first computer that was invented using artificial intelligence was sophia which is a humanoid robot and she is having a citizenship of uae so all right guys that's it from the introductory part of ict from tomorrow we will start ict networking guys do hit the like button subscribe our channel and do press the bell icon to receive latest jobs notifications gate talks and video lectures on gate and ies